Hello everybody and welcome. Whoa. Anyways, welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2. We're jumping in again. I'm gonna play as the Void Fiend this time, and let's go with this gnarly looking skin right here. Unfortunately, this guy doesn't have any alternate abilities, so we're just gonna have to see how it goes. But I like this character quite a lot. He's pretty fun. Um got added with the void update. We basically have to play around this corruption meter, which is gonna basically um, charge rapidly by doing things and we can do stuff to lower our corruption like this which is healing um, and when we hit certain levels of corruption I think it's once you hit 100% actually um, our abilities will transform into other abilities that are like more sort of up close and personal aggressive personally I like sticking with the, the, the first ability first set of abilities to, for a little bit just because with this, we can uh, make sure we've got a good long-range attack. Whereas I believe the attack that you get when you go to the Corrupted version, your main attack, doesn't have the same sort of range that this does. Which obviously isn't as good for us right now. So I'm going to stick with this for a little bit. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I like the skin. The skin's pretty gnarly. It seems to be using the R ability pretty much whenever it's available. I think I think you can only use it at above 25%. Yeah. Fall on you. It's good to have a reliable healing ability too. It's Excuse me, sir. Are you invisible? Are you chilling in the wall? Gain a brief um, low protection after attacking. Oh, we got that twice. Nice. Good, good, good. I like it. And we can also do this to... Uh, Fly up into the air a little bit. Little bit of a movement skill. It's not amazing, but it'll do. I see you there, invisible boy. Don't think I don't. Don't think I don't see you there creeping around. The good thing is as well that the uh, cooldown on the healing is very it is like non-existent. If we're above 25%, we can just use it. So we can kind of spam it a little bit. Oh, we got a shop here as well. Sorry, we've got two shops here. But god damn, we've got a lot of items going on right now. I like that a lot. Um, probably should have saved that for this guy, but there you go. Um, let's go with whatever this is. Retaliate on taking heavy damage. It's not great, but it's fine. Not what I was expecting that was, to be honest, but there you go. And then we got Teddy Bear. Oh, we'll take the coins. Coins early on is really good. And then we can go to get up here easily. <laughs> I love that. Oh god, that completely missed. Also, I think getting hit lowers that corruption as well, maybe? Let me try that. Hit me. Okay, no, it increases that corruption. It actually increases it. But yeah, early on, we're going to be pretty much fine to stay non-corrupted. Ooh, this is good. There's bonus damage, but we lose it at low HP, so... We do got to try and keep our health... At a reasonable level right now. Let's try and keep that alive. 60 damage is pretty good. 60 damage a shot. I mean, how much is that doing now? 121. I like that. That extra range. Launch yourself into the air. Oh. Uh. <laughs> what? That's terrible. Please tell me it does a bit more than that. It's like literally just a double jump, that's it. <laughs> that's very useless. I mean, it, it can save us from fall damage, I suppose, so it's not completely useless, actually. But it's not very useful. Right, grab that. That's good. Turpaz brooch is always nice. Got another shop over here as well. Make our way over there. Yeah, we can just use it as an extra jump. That's kind of it. I mean, I guess it's something, at least. It's not better than having no active. <clears throat> so pathetic, though. Um, we'll take whatever this is. Release a 13 meter barry, um, barrier effect. Teleport holds out. Multiply barrier decay. Okay, that's pretty good, considering we have something that gives us barrier. And we've got multiply barrier decay. So that means the barriers, while we're in the teleporter event, last a lot longer. 
Oh, there you go. Healing is what uh, lowers our corruption there. So getting those healing orbs is what did it. Right. I did see where our um, thingy was. Just over there, look. Good. Just gonna quickly do an extra check. Make sure we're not missing any obvious chests. I think we're good to go, to be honest. Because that let our corruption build up now, because we want to use our corrupted abilities for the boss. Honestly, we might as well buy that as well. It's close enough for the boss to be helpful. Right. Grab this thing. Let's go. Damage is fine on this guy so far. It's not amazing, but it's just fine. Get that guy out of the way. And there you go, into corrupted form now. And that's how we do it, baby. And there's a lot of enemies close. The corrupted form is very, very good. We also get taking large damage, increases movement speed, and attack speed momentarily. Pretty good. And there you go, we have this barrier decay thing here. You see how long my barrier is taking to go down there? It's cool that it has like a visual like this. I like that. It's nice. Nice reminder. My turret's gonna be doing good stuff. Get all the extra money from getting hit as well. Beautiful. Just gotta wait this out. Yeah, back down to zero percent. We are doing very good damage right now. Gotta love some Risk of Rain, haven't you? Good to be back on this game. Just a very chill game. It can get real stressful towards the end, but right now it's very chill. Good, 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 good. Right, we are good to go, pretty much. Let's head out. And that's quite a lot of level ups as well with all the money that we had there. Quite a lot of extra XP. Right. Ooh, good stage. I like the stage a lot. And we start next to two chests as well. Let's, um... Let's take a look up here. See, see if there's any extras up here. We want to stay in our uh, uncorrupted form for a while just because we're going to be firing. Probably a reasonable range to hit things. we got a pod over there, but... Not much else. Oh, my turret's doing good work. I didn't realize my turret had spawned up here. That's nice. Okay, so there isn't actually much up here. So let's uh, just get enough to get a chest, which I think will be about 50-something. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that, 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 that there was a gap there. Wow. That's 65 for a chest right now. Oh, God. That heavy damage fire rate thing is actually really good. Killing an enemy, multiplies barrier decay. Okay, this is really, really good. We have a lot of uh, multiplying barrier decay, which means that our Topaz brooch is going to be ex just exquisite. Oh, damn, I didn't pay attention to this. And this way, you can keep yourself in corrupted mode by dealing damage to yourself. I mean, the damage is insane in this mode. That's pretty good. Power elixir is rather nice. That can save us from uh, from death. Good, good. Stop healing you. It's not quite enough there. I just love how accurate this thing is, and it's like hit scan from any distance, pretty much. We get another retaliate. It's pretty decent. We do have a 3D printer here, but I don't think it's anything I would particularly use. Oh, maybe getting some, getting some crit built up would be kind of nice. Get out of here, you. Good. Right. 
We could probably like corruption build a bit now, to be honest, because um, I was gonna say because there's a lot of enemies about, but all of a sudden there's not. Oh, more retaliate! Wow. And we get some damage reduction there as well. Oh, are, you, are you stuck in the floor, my good friend? Reduce damage the first time you were hit. I like that a lot. We got two shops over there as well. Wow. Stuff. The hell are you? Oh shit, there's an invisible one of these here as well. Luckily they're not too hard. At least we can keep our health popped off really easily as well with this. What, what, what we need now is more Turpaz brooches. That would be just exquisite. That would really make this run quite insane. Right. Uh, take question mark here. That's actually pretty good. I like that. And we'll take the cookie here because that's extra damage, right? Oh, no. Buffs last longer. That's actually pretty good too. Buffs lasting longer is very good, actually. We've got a void item over there, which I like the look of. Crowbar's really good for us here. Extra damage on that first hit. I love that. And we've got gain extra jump height. Um, that's actually not as much as I'd like for getting rid of all her poo feathers, I'll be honest. I was hoping it'd be a bit more substantial than that, but there you go. Hands to fire a mortar. Not particularly good, but fine. Teleporter's just up here. Do we see much else that we want to take a look at right now? I don't think we do. There's Obviously, there's that area. Oh, also, I did a mega jump then. There's that area over there. Oh, there's a Chen Shrine here. Well, let's, let's play this first. That is if enemies are going to spawn. Which at the minute isn't looking super likely. Okay, we have another shop over there as well. Okay, we do have a good bit to take a look at so far. There we go. There's some more enemies spawning. Good, good, good. Especially elites has a bit more money for us. Oh my lord. Okay, let's let our corruption build here. Yeah, we'll let our corruption build here and uh, take all these guys out. This is a lot of elites that I wasn't expecting. We managed to take all of them out pretty easily here, to be honest, but we'll let our corruption build regardless. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, that's got an arc to it. There we go. Chest there, rather nice. Ooh, yes. Apparently increases damage. Gotta love that. That's another cookie. I definitely want that. Another chest over here. Okay, this has been pretty lucrative going over this way. Uh, reduces fall damage and converts 100% uh, removed damage to the next attack. That's pretty cool. I won't get out my face. Right, then we do the Chan Shrine and we're out of here. Oh, we got two good things here. Re um, regen is slightly faster, and of course we got the particle, whatever you call it. This thing's going to be good for killing bosses. Right, we'll just let our corruption build up here. Beetle Queen. <clears throat> Annihilated. And we get Hatch a Strange Creature, which drops buff periodically. Sounds decent. Damn it, I tried to use my ability to hurt myself and keep in corrupted form there, but didn't quite press it in time. Would have liked to stay in corrupted form for a little longer there.
But this, this went well. The stage went well. We'll stay, like, with the ability to go into corrupted form here, because that'll help. There's, a, there's an enemy on me, I'm pretty sure. Oh, is it you that's hurting me? I was like, there's something hurting me from nearby, but I can't figure out what it is. My health's getting pretty low. There's an invisible one of these guys. I can't fucking find him. There he is. Doing mad damage to me. Taking it a bit too far. Right, good, good, good. Good level up as well. Things are going our way. Time chest that we're a bit late for. Sadly, you did get this cool stage again, though, with the underwater and everything. I see you there. This thing's tanky as shit. There you go. I finally got it. Kill all of them. Get them off my back. Went into corrupt with her back again. Yo! Oh, we fired the extra projectile there. Okay. Utility ability. Kind of letting these enemies deal damage to me. Rush the key. Not great. Stun gun's kind of good, I think. There's a chance to snare enemies on hit, yeah. Not bad. Okay, when they go underwater, we lose some gravity. Our ability's fine here. Oh my god. See our next game's mode. Right, take these bloody flying shits out. Finally grab this. That heavy damage buff is insane. I'm glad we got that thing that makes buffs last longer. We get it for quite a long time. And here we got... Deal more damage uh, to enemies with barely any debuffs. Okay, that's actually really good right now. Because we're not applying any debuffs. Later on, it might not be as good. But it doesn't mean we deal less damage to enemies with debuffs. So, it's not a negative at all. Right, we've got a shop over here. Shop down there. Chest down there. That's the extra damage proving to be very good. We're going to take this for the extra damage. Get that for the extra stat. I love the, the way the music's like, sort of different in the water and stuff. Oh god, yeah, we're doing a lot of extra damage now. I like this. Uh, prevents barrier decay. Oh my god, we've got so many stuff that affects barrier decay right now. We just need more uh, Turpaz brooches to just generate more barrier. Crit glasses, we were saying about wanting crit, so I'll definitely take that. This with the crowbar is just a very good setup. One-shotting those guys is pretty nuts. 600 damage. Can't quite one-shot these guys. Flying guys, though, they go down very easily. Okay, we found our teleporter here. 
There's probably a bit more to explore, though. Oh, yes! What was I just saying? More Topaz brooches. So damn good. So damn good. Right. Probably still a bit more to explore outside of the water, I'm sure. I see a chest over there already. Beautiful. That fired two as well. Whatever that thing is that makes it fire two sometimes, we need more of that. 18 temporary barrier after one... Se oh my god, okay, this is... This is so good. We're just getting so many barrier-based effects. Really, really, really nice to see. We're going to be so defensible. I'm just wondering if we've got anything more up here, but then I'll dive down and... Uh, I'm kind of wanting to explore a little more until my active's available again. I used it a little bit uh, too close to the portal activation, really. Doesn't look like we have anything up here. I think I see a chest all the way out there. Is that one right there? Like, see that little glowing light? Wish I had better movement skills with this guy. That is a chest. Yeah, let's go grab that, and then we'll go to our boss. Jump, 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 jump. And there's one here as well. Lovely. Almost hidden away. Chance to apply fairy on hit. Don't really know what that does, but I'll give it a go. And yes, prevents barrier decay again. Um, caps at 100%. So we've, we've actually got it up to a decent health threshold already. Okay, let me just kill these guys so I can check what my current... Uh... Oh, shit. Things kind of got a little bit nutty around here. Look at my barrier. Look at my barrier. This is nuts. Get off me. Pissing me off. Can I see... Um... It's not that one. What's the one we just picked up? We've got two of. That one. The green one. 67%. Okay, nice. Oh, we fired two of them again. Awesome. Boss done. Ah, squid collar. Really? Look at this barrier. I'm a god. I am a god. We essentially are basically always going to have near double HP. So good. This thing that makes us fire double. I can't remember what it, what it is now. Um, it's a tanker, isn't it? Sturdy mug. We need more of that. <laughs> That's so good. It's triggered on a lot of stuff. And more crit as well. The thing is, getting hit gives us barrier. So we go that, like that, and then after one second we gain barrier. And it decays so slowly that we're constantly just gaining barrier. <laughs> Even from being hit. <laughs> nice. Good stage. Good stage. Very good stage indeed. We spawn right next to our legendary chest, which we can check on the cost of. 3, 800. Okay, we can, we can do that.
I mean, this guy on his own is going to give us a good amount of money, I should think. By the way, I fixed the issue with the weird snake thing. Someone found out what mod it was for me. Thank you for whoever commented about that. And also, someone else joined my Discord and did some investigative work. So thank you for that as well. All very welcome. Okay, those mushroom guys actually can fucking give us so, so much money. Right, you need to poo out a little... Damn it. You killed him. My turret needs... Uh, there you go. My turret needs to fuck off while this thing wrecks my shit. We've already got half the cost we need. Basically, we step on it, wait for our barrier to decay, get off it, get more barrier, get back on it. It's a little bit tricky to, to manage without dying, but it works. We're just getting so much money out of doing that. I hear something making noise. But you? Yeah, we got enough already. That was easy. Give me that, bad boy. And we get... Chests have a chance to drop an extra item. Holy shit, that's so good. I've not seen that legendary before, but I like it. At this point, I don't think we bother managing our corruption. I think we just keep it as is. And let it change when it changes. Right, start opening some chests. Gain extra health, don't mind that at all. We need to find items now. That's the tricky part. Nice. It's only chests that have the extra chance, so don't bother with the ch chance to try and yet. Got extra movement speed in this mode too, so let's utilize that. Meat nugget, enemies have a chance to drop regen when hit. Okay, that's pretty good. Chance to freeze enemies on hit. Wow, got a legendary there, very nice. Wasn't expecting that. I wonder if the extra item that comes out will be uh, of the same quality as the one that we got out of it. Or if it'll be random. I'm guessing it'll be random. We know, we know where the teleporter is now at least. That's good. Changed over at the worst possible time there. Oh shit, I forgot you get a different ability when you're in this form as well. We kind of dive forward instead. It's all different, like. What the hell's this? Offer to the shrine. Eat my item all the way down there, why don't you? Alrighty then, can we do that multiple times? No, we cannot. What sort of champion are you? You're just the invisible one. 
I don't know, but you kind of scare me. Right. Just kill you and go, Hucha! Freezing on hit is rather nice. Max HP is rather nice. Right. There's still so much more to see on the stage, so let's try and do it. Bye, Zs! There's a chest there. There's our lockbox as well, nice. Rusted lockbox doing as well. Not had a double item proc yet, though. Don't see any chests down there. Chests haven't been great on this stage so far. That damage. Beautiful. The chests have not been great. I think this here is our first large chest we've seen all run, to be honest. Oh, another one. Uh, Resonant Disc. Decent, not amazing. Three legendaries at this stage, though. It's pretty good going. Right. I think that's pretty much it for this stage, unfortunately. Not much going on for it, really. Not much going on. So I guess we pop the chance shrine over here and we get out of here. Freeze you, lovely. A few items there. There was another trench shrine down here, wasn't there? Yeah, there is. Okay, nice. Sluggy, sluggy. Right, start her up. Tackling a double on that there. We should annihilate these guys. I don't know who you are aiming at, dude, but it ain't me. There you go. Easy does it. Not a problem for us at all. And we get ourselves. Prop mines are taking heavy damage. Got a lot of on heavy damage effects now, which is good. Right, and then we should be pretty much fine to survive this all because we've got um, a lot of barrier going on. That shouldn't be a problem. Smack all these guys down. Oh, damn. We tried it. You need to get gone, good sir. <laughs> Bro, that guy while I was in mid-air, that's hilarious. No thanks. God, oh, the freeze is so good because it lets you kill things early. It's so nice. Miss Alderaan's rather nice too. I like that. Right, we are good to go. I didn't miss much on this stage, I don't think, but... With very few chests, really. Not much to work with. And I'm hoping that, that our chance to get a double draw. Where is our legendary, by the way? It's, it's here. 10% chance, and then it's plus 5% per stack. So it's not a huge chance anyways. I mean, to be fair, is that is a very powerful item, so I do get it. Spinny my bob here. Money will probably be a bit slow to start with, so let's uh, gather some coinage here. Nice. Oh, there you go, double item. Double item. 80% temp barrier, okay, good. Can't remember what this does, but I'm gonna take it. Ow.
Yeah, main attack is kind of lacking now. We got uh, one of those orb bosses up there. Can't remember what this thing does, but I'll take it. 5% of the damage you deal over time. Okay, that means it's going to be a little harder to most likely to get into um, corrupted form. Say that as I become corrupted. See what this guy's doing. He seems to be doing quite a lot. There he is. Hello to you too, my good sir. What are you doing? I very much do not want to greet you. Good. Right. How much damage did I deal to you? Okay. Decent amount. Not great. Let's get up in there with this. And there you go. Nice taken out. Oh, shit. We've got one of these corrupted areas over here. A few more of these guys as well. I fucking love these enemies. These are a modded enemy as well, I'm pretty sure. Pretty cool. Storm's approaching. Don't worry about the stuff behind me. I need to get up close with this guy, but it's going to be a bit risky. Oh shit, there's a fire breather behind me. Fuck you. What are you doing here? Right, we got him. Right, let's get up in this corrupted area and take out some of the stuff that we haven't been able to yet. Because I'm sure there's a good few guys up here that we want to take care of. How many is there left? Oh, there's only one Void Seed monster left. I think it's this one over here. Okay, nice. Yeah, we cleared it out. Good, good. Crits increase damage overall for a short period of time. That's good. Hello, sir. I'd rather be corrupted before I deal with you, I'll be honest. Holy shit. There's a lot going on right now. There's a lot to sort of think about. But we managed it. We managed it. Okay, what we got here? Gain barrier by hitting enemies. Um, oh, okay. Wait. Let's, let's just see how... How it works with the Turpaz Brooch. Gain it on kill. Gain it on hit. Let's go with gain on hit instead. I think that might be a little more beneficial to us. A bit scary to change over our build like this, but... Um, deal more damage to enemies with lower HP. Nah, I'm not going to take that. I'd, I'd, I'd rather have the initial hit to potentially one-shot stuff than anything else. We need more fire rate, though, now. I think when we're, um... I think when we're thingy and, uh, using our corrupted form, we're gonna gain barrier like crazy, but in our regular form, it's gonna be pretty slow going, I think. Fortunately, a lot of active item chests that we just don't need right now. Missed that completely. Didn't want to do that, really. Yeah, you can't go vertically up with this. Damn. Is that a legendary 3D printer? What's it for? Miltech printer. I'll try it. I got rid of my freeze chance. Spawn a temporary drone upon killing an elite enemy. Ooh. Do you know what? I'm gonna go... Wait, what? How many legendaries did I trade in there? What the fuck? Okay, I've only got three of them. I see. 
Oh, you get an aspect there. Nice. Become aspect of fire. Nice. Yeah. Get a temporary drone. Like, the, the chance for extra items is kind of cool, but temporary drone on killing an elite. Getting three of them. I'm guessing it stacks like that. Um, security drone. 100% damage per stack. Okay, it just gives us damage per stack and time per stack. It doesn't give us more drones, but... I think that's pretty cool. We kill elites all the time. We can just become the drone lord. So there's our teleporter. Let's go discover that so we remember where it is. Okay, we've got that discovered on the map now. Right, let's try and find a few more chests if we can. They've never, never used an, a legendary printer before, and especially never used it to that extent. And now we get our drone. I don't know if the barrier on kill thing has been right for us, to be honest. Might have been a mistake. Oh, shit. My fucking security drone is aspect fire as well. That's so cool. Look at that thing. That's awesome. God damn, there's so many fucking active item chests. I don't want that. Um, it's good. Another chest over here, I see. So many on damage effects, goddamn. I suppose when we're hitting enemies with this, we're getting a good amount of barrier. Yeah, we're keeping our barrier up pretty nicely like that. In corrupted form. So staying in corrupted form is pretty rough. Right. Is there anything else we can do here? Okay, there's another void thing over there that I want to go check out. There's a chest down here that I see as well. Ukulele! Fuck yes with a ukulele. I love the ukulele. So fun for AoE. Right, choose this for move speed for right now. What on earth is that? I am unsure and I do not want to find out. Right, there's another void seed thing over here, so I want to check this out. I actually killed him pretty quick. Dispatched that fool. Uh, Crooks all, old guillotines. Your on-kill effects are carrying additional time on killing an elite. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I need to read the rest of that. There was something about AoE. This thing's fucking crazy. Is this, this is my drone. My drone's like spazzing out. Yeah, what did it say? Um, where is that item, actually? Whereabouts is that item? Looks like a, Okay, there it is. Big sword. Additionally, uh, uh, causes a 12 meter explosion. Okay. Sounds really, sounds really good, to be honest. Alright, uh, ukulele, can you prop right now, please? craziness here. Honestly, no, the barrier thing's going really well. We're getting a lot of barrier. I'm keeping it up for a good amount of time. Imagine in the teleporter event when it's got less decay, it'll be even better. Right, where's this take us? Not where I expected, but not terrible. Right, I'm a little sad to have lost our freeze chance, but overall, pretty pretty happy with the drone item. It's cool. Something new. Right. 
activate this bad boy. Nice. Getting to corrupted form here is going to be important. Because the damage we deal without it just isn't really enough. Away we go! One of them died. Oh my god. The damage we deal and the fucking barrier we generate is just nuts. Look at that! <laughs> Look at the barrier just keeps going up and up and up. As long as we're not taking damage off the cross, that is. Beautiful. I like this a lot. There's our drone. We've got two drones now. But we can get more than one drone. Okay, yeah. We we can get multiple drones and the drone is based on the elite that we kill, I see. And we can have up to three drones, I think. Oh, wait. Do we just get unlimited amounts of drones? Let me, let me check. Killing enemy spawns a security drone. Okay, yeah, we get a drone pair elite we kill. So we can have, like, an absolute army of drones. The thing is, elites normally spawn in, like, packs as well, so that works nicely. Alright, let's go. Through we do, through we do. I really like that. Fun character as well. Really enjoying the character. Hey, we're looping as well this time. I didn't mean to do that, but I'm glad we did it. Give me a drone. Look at that fucking thing. It's got a massive sword in its head as well. <laughs> right. One thing I'd really like to get now is movement skills. Getting some movement abilities. Uh, there's some, like, um, what are they called? Energy drinks. That whole not uh, not applying status debuffs thing is maybe a little lost on us now, because we're applying a lot. But oh well. Not going to play that quite yet. Look at that fucking thing go, that's so cool. We got a bunch of Malachite guys over here by the looks of it, yeah. Oh wait, no, it's just one Malachite guy that's slaying a bunch of traps. Fucking turret just going like crazy. Oh, and we get a Malachite drone too, nice. Attack faster, okay, that's really good if we can keep it alive. But it does break at low HP, so we'll see. My Malachite dude's just laying down traps everywhere. I want, like, the I don't know how long the drones actually last in total with the bonuses we have. Backup magazine's decent here. We'll grab that lot, why not? Right. Last few chests, maybe? Jetpack. And what was the other one? I didn't even see what it was. Feel an ominous presence. Lovely. Uh, just Monster Tooth Necklace. There you are, Malachite Fuck. If 
Right, where's the boss at? We're about ready for the boss now. There it is. Can't tell if that's a turret or not. Is that my ominous presence that it just told me about? What the fuck? Who are you? Is that me? Am I fighting me? There's some dude with a sword. Oh, shit. <laughs> Staring soul. What am I fighting for? I quite know what that's about, but I'll take it. Holy shit, things have really amped up a little bit here, haven't they? These are starting to get in the laggy way of things now. Wait, I just realized that using my R ability regens my barrier. I can stay in corrupted mode like permanently like this because I'm gaining barrier. Okay, not quite permanently, but pretty close to. Malachite foot. There's so much hell. Like the only thing that can kill me right now, so I gotta be careful around him. More barrier. Death mark as well, lovely. Are, are enemies dropping items now? Why, why are there all these items everywhere? Got a dove there as well. Shit me. What the hell's happening? Did I get an item that allows elites to drop items? Is that the one that I've got? Wow. This has been really something. Bustling fungus there? I'm not sure what I've got that's doing that. The, there is that item that makes elites drop items, but I didn't, I didn't think I had that. So I'm not quite sure what's happening there. But this run is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Let's uh, go grab this. I'm glad we have a dove now for a bit of movement speed. It's really nice. Honestly, I'm just going to fire this directly at you. You're annoying me already. I'm going to apply Fairy on hit again, lovely. I don't really know what Fairy does, but I'll take it. Holy shit! With Wax Quail, I think it goes hard. jump into that ability and it goes crazy. Nice. Right, where's the chests at, boys? Where's the chests at? There's some... There's a, a shop. Big box, cat thing. Poo poo feather. Take whatever this is. Heal when beginning a teleporter event. Eh, not particularly good. You all ready for this? My drones are incoming. I love this because it triggers like ukulele like fucking crazy. Yeah, we're getting a lot of items on kill. And I'm not quite sure what's causing it. 
Um, I'm looking through my items and I'm not seeing which one it could possibly be. I, I really don't know. Hey, barrier again. Love it. We're so barrier full. Easily generated luck. Look at that damage, baby. Got a gup here as well. Come over here, gup. What on earth was that noise? Okay, we're at the point now where, where money is just not even a problem. We're gaining so much money. It's just finding the chests is the bigger issue. Gain ammo and hit. I like that. Clouds begin to clear. Lovely. Our teleporter events all the way up there. What the hell? Let's see the chests over there. Oh, let's make our way up. What on earth are you, good demon? Cause some craziness. I don't think I want anything to do with. How do we get up here again? There it is. Hey, fella. Just gonna run over your head, thanks. The lag is so bad now. I don't even know. I think it's just playing with this many mods. Game can't handle. There's so many effects on screen. The game starts to shit itself a little bit. Oh lord, I went way too far. Not my intention at all. Really, Guppin? You stupid little fuck. Don't you dare do it again! Fuck you! I can't get up there! Oh, this is infuriating. <laughs> They've got me on lockdown. Look at this bullshit. Okay, I got up, I got up. Get out of here, you big fuckers. Get out of here. There's just no way to know what's going on right now, is there? There's just no real, real way to know. It's all a bit crazy. I just bet you can charge your right stability. I think it's just because the game tries to do so many calculations because of how many, like, effects we have going on at once on enemies. And how many things we're applying in one go. The game just has no idea how to sort of process it. The right and gimme, 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 gimme. We are gone. I, I suspect next stage is going to be where things get a bit off the line. We end up dying. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, we got a void area up there. Managed to get 500 money somehow. What on earth are you? Big Crabber. This is Big Crabber. Big 
big crabber is gone. I don't know what the fuck's going on right now. It's all very hard to follow. Oh, there's one of these guys. Hello. We're a tender boy. Ow. You pushed me. I'm not sanctioned that push. I genuinely feel like with the barrier that I've got going on, it's going to be kind of hard for me to die even if I wanted to. Put these guys out. Oh god, the lag. My goodness. There's another one of you over here. What the hell? With all this, my guy. <laughs> How many more uh, thingies do we need to kill? Four more on. Oh, there's two of these areas. I didn't realize. There's four more in both areas. I'm guessing you're two of them. Once the corruption hits, there's nothing you can do. Let's have that bubble real quick. Okay, one more in each area. Normally gives you hints. Where's my hints, game? And it begins to mend. Anything under here that I need to get? No? The hell are you? Sometimes it's like enemies that are miles away, like in the sky somewhere, so... Could be that. But I'm not sure. Give me the hint, game. I need it. Show me the little dot. Oh, there it is. It's somewhere up there. It's this little fella. You little dick. All this hassle just for you. Good. I see what this thing down here was. What, what the hell are you? Fair hole in reality, give an item. I don't know what item I gave it. Oh, there you go. Hole in reality. Enter the null portal. Why not? <laughs> At this point, why not? Was this a good idea? I fear the worst. It's only brass contraptions as well. Kind of scares me a little bit. There's so many of them too. That's my drone doing its thing. Oh my god. We're about 62% of the way through this. We're gaining items as we go, apparently. Might as well do this. Why not? That's why not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's straight off the map. Occasionally inflict poison and bleed on hit. Damn, okay. The status effects just get crazy and modded. Death's mark is like one of the best items ever. <laughs> I don't have it for some reason. 
I took the corrupted version. Stupid oh. What are we doing now? I don't know what I'm doing now. This thing's getting smaller, definitely. It's like somewhere else I'm meant to be going. That's the portal. Fuck me, I don't know where I'm going. Isn't there meant to be like a beam in the sky that I head towards? It's not this way. Fuck, I'm so lost right now. I thought it was meant to be like a beam in the sky that made it obvious where you were going next. There, there it is, there it is. Okay, we made it. That was a little bit risky. We got there in the end. Monster have five times apply fairy on him. Look at the amount of status effects. That's just ludicrous. It's Looney Tunes. Oh damn. Oh damn. Oh damn. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> that that came to a crashing end very quickly. Either way, that was a very fun run regardless. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.